I think it's time to ask whether Facebook may have moved too fast and broken too many things. What exactly is Facebook? A social platform, a data company, an advertising company, a media company, a common carrier in the information age, all the above, or something else? Joining us now to give us his take one year on after those uh, hearings, Congressman, Congressman Greg Walden from Ohio. Congressman, thanks very much for joining us. It's good to be with you. Thanks. Have they matured in the last 12 months significantly further? Well, you know, one step forward, two steps back. Uh, it seems like every day there's something else we learn. I think they're working at it, but I think they've got a long way to go to rebuild trust with their users. I mean, this is probably one of the biggest platforms literally in the world, one of the biggest companies in the world, and, uh, and, and, and they don't have it all figured out yet. And, and I think that's a problem. And I think that the breach of trust is real and that, that users need to, to understand and uh, really have confidence that what Facebook says they're doing, they're actually doing when it comes to protecting their data. And as your reporter said, I, there was a report that 540 million records are stored on some developer's cloud in, in Mexico that might expose uh, users' IDs and, and other personal information. That shouldn't happen. And so uh, they, they've still got some issues to overcome. Congressman, uh, one significant step recently was Mark Zuckerberg penning an op-ed calling right. for regulation of, of his own company. What do you make of that? Well, I thought it was intriguing, um, and I, I'm somewhat sympathetic uh, in what he's saying there. This is a big job, and uh, the government's asking him, not only the U.S. government, but other governments around the world, uh, to police what's on his platform. That's hard to do. But he has a responsibility, or his company does, to really be on the forefront. We're not our artificial intelligence engineers here in Washington or, or anywhere else around uh, in, in sites of, of government leadership. And so we really have to rely on them to do their job and the, do the things they committed to do. But um, we're willing to work with them in a how, partnership. How is it there, if, if, if Congress hasn't passed regulations and requirements, hasn't passed the laws that require this to be their job, how is it their job? Well, first of all, I think there's something called human decency and civility. And I think in some uh, situations, uh, social media platforms have, have not added to decency or civility. And I, I think they're trying. I mean, you talked about the war room to uh, protect elections from uh, fraud. You talked about the issue involving the, the mosque shooting as well. They're trying to do it. They know what's right and wrong. They have a responsibility in the in the community square to get it right. But we have a responsibility, too, to pass a national privacy law and, and set the standards here for America and American consumers and American companies that make sense. Why do you think that hasn't been done? You know, I think we're getting close to getting it done. I think there's a lot more interest, especially after uh, the European Union passed its, its proposal or its law into effect. And California has a law that's pending that I think uh, is something we ought to look at. But I think we should come up with a, a national footprint here that works uh, for these companies and protects users. Look, users want to know, what are you doing with my data? What control do I have over my own data? And, and you know, are you, follow, are you doing what you said you'd do? And we have instances where that didn't happen, not just Facebook, but other, other providers as well. And so I, I think this whole issue of social media has come upon our, our, our stage of public policy, if you will. And it's time that we step up and try and, and figure out the it, right path forward legally. You know, it's not just social media companies, though. Last year, you were questioning, well, what is Facebook? Is it a media right. company? Is it a social? You could say the you could ask those same questions about Amazon. So many of the big companies that right. we rely on in our daily lives, they're not just one thing to one person. There are lots of different things. How complicated is the job <laughs> ahead of lawmakers? Truly to institute some regulation about cybersecurity and privacy, right. our election, um, the, just, just the, our democracy depending on these rules being in place, how complicated is the job ahead of you? Well, it's really complicated. And, and in a prior Congress or two back when I chaired the Subcommittee on Telecommunications, we did a series of hearings on cybersecurity. And every witness said, first, do no harm. Don't lock us into things that the people that are trying to do harm will know we have to do. You'll misallocate our capital resources. and resources. And, and this thing is so dynamic, they'll just move around. Remember, we already have requirements in law 
on privacy on many fronts. Your, your uh, financial records, there's an obligation that companies that have those data are supposed to keep it secure. The same with your health records under HIPAA. So there are requirements, but we have to do more. We're debating 20 feet from me on the House floor right now, net neutrality. And, and the, the, the Democrats are saying, oh, this is going to make the, the Internet uh, free from any abuse, but it only applies to the Internet service providers, not to the edge providers, where a lot of my constituents say right. some of these things are occurring, shadow banning perhaps, paid prioritization. I mean, who's writing the algorithms? What does that mean when I go to shop or to look at something? And, and so this is a huge issue that we need to step up and, and work our way through, and I think we need their help in these companies to do that.